What an honor it is. This is our first time here, and I'll be able to introduce you to not just this company, this corporation, but to, to a family of shareholders, to an opportunity that I've enjoyed myself for the last six years. I guess it's been uh, 25 years ago now, I was a certified senior financial planner and teaching uh, estate planning attorneys uh, really how to do well by doing good. Lake Oswego, Oregon, had the opportunity to have lunch with someone who now over through the years has become not just a business partner, but one of my best friends, Mark Russo. And he introduced me to a concept where that he had access to one of the world's largest collection of bronze sculptures. And his idea was to donate those sculptures to 501c charities around the world, help them conduct live auctions, and then split whatever the sculptures sold for 50-50 as a cost of doing business. He asked my thoughts, and of course, as former president of the American Cancer Society in Wisconsin, I knew that fundraising was not fun. It's hard. And so we together, through the years now, have raised well in excess of $50 million for charities and great causes to help people. <clears throat> and have been doing that for a while. Six years ago, I got a call from Mark, and he said, you know what? I would like to expand, start a brand new company, help me prepare it to go public, should that be the best thing for shareholders, and to raise money not just with charities, but with five separate profit centers doing things that you will learn by way of a video that Mark prepared especially for you today. And that's been, I'm 78 years of age. I've been investing since I was 10 years old selling newspapers at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, collecting coins. And I have, even though I'm chief executive officer and chairman of the board of a mining company, I can tell you this, that I have never had more fun and made more money than what I'm doing now. Don't let Mark know, but I would have done it for free. So I'm introducing you to the video that we have prepared for you, and specifically Mark Russo, our chairman. Hi, I'm Mark Russo, chairman and founder of Treasure Investments Corporation. I wanna share with you today a couple of incredible opportunities with our company. Treasure Investments is a fine art corporation. We specialize in the casting of sculptures in different mediums, including pure silver, pure gold, stainless steel, bronze, and other mediums. We own the single largest master mold collection in the world, consisting of over 2,600 different images from 230 of the most famous artists in the world. The subject matter includes biblical, wildlife, historical, cultural, fantasy artwork, and many patriotic symbols. Some of the pieces in our showroom, this is our showroom in Battleground, Washington. This is one of our sculptures called Reflections of America Cast in Bronze. All of our pieces are limited in editions from as little as just one in each size to as many as 10,000, depending on what subject matter it is. We have a lot of great pieces. We did pieces for the Ferrari Corporation, Lamborghini images, again, pop artwork, a lot of cultural pieces. This is one of our life-size pieces right here. I was excited to share this with you. A lot of equestrian pieces. This is just a taste of our pieces in the showroom. Over here is one of our life-size Lamborghini bowls, a lot of our wildlife pieces. 
We have five distinct profit centers. Every one, we're scaling them annually at an exponential level. We have 200 gallery locations, including 106 cruise ships in 52 countries and 95 locations throughout the United States. So it's very exciting to share this opportunity with you. I'm gonna do a short clip and then we're gonna take you to the museum and show you one of our incredible alternative asset classes. Artwork to me is the greatest form of communication in humankind. It's what moves humanity. We built a fine art company based around sculptures. We own the largest master mold collection in the world, consisting of over 250 artists of over 2,000 original images. It's biblical, it's historical, it's wildlife, cultural, it's pop artwork. We've got 60,000 clients worldwide. We've grown this into a company that now has the exclusive rights to cast the greatest artistry in the history of mankind. We're casting Michelangelo's sculptures in pure silver and pure gold. And they are not just a copy or a replica. They are right from the plaster mold that was taken off of the original masterpiece. They are truly one of a kinds. Our first is the Michelangelo's Pieta, made out of pure silver through and through, 18,000 plus ounces. We're also doing the Battle of the Centaurs in pure gold. And then the David, 18 and a half feet tall, is the largest silver sculpture in the history of mankind. You look at the auction houses and what people are buying artwork for. $450 million for a Leonardo da Vinci. There's a Jeffrey Coons rabbit that sold for $91 million. What it tells us is there's a buying audience for that type of artwork. No one in the world has combined blue chip fine artwork with precious metal. But if you invest in this company, you get both. Welcome to Museo Michelangelo, a wholly owned subsidiary of Treasure Investments Corporation. I'm excited to share this with you today because we have a multi-billion dollar art collection owned by our corporation in the museum. I'm gonna skim through our modern art collection, but it's works to include artists by Banksy, Basquiat, we have Deben Korn, Keith Haring, we have a multiple collection of incredible Mark Rothko paintings, and my favorite is our signature piece by Jackson Pollock, 1951, is one of the largest Jackson Pollocks that exist in a private collection in the world today. I'm most excited to share with you what we're gonna be bringing to market in 2024 as an alternative asset class it's our precious metals division of our pieces from the Vatican collection is one of a kind originals. We have a few samples of, of them in bronze here in the museum. We have artwork by Cellini. We have a piece by Apollinius, son of Nestor. This is the marbles in the Belvedere Court Garden in the Vatican, in the Basilica. We have a piece by Glycos. This is a spectacular image by uh, the name of Farnes Hercules. It's a stunning image. This is a piece by Gian Lorenzo Bernini called the Rato de Proserpina an extraordinary work of artwork. This is a piece called the Lacoon Group by Apollinius, or excuse me, by Agrisandro, a spectacular piece of artwork. Right here we have a work by GM Bologna, it's called the Rape of the Sabines. Behind me right now is the iconic image of the David by Michelangelo. In 1928, Marinelli Sr. got permission to take a plaster mold directly off the marble itself. From that mold, this piece was cast. This is number one in the world of the David. It's not a copy or a replica. It is a posthumous first edition original. In an inset photograph, you'll see right here, we started the casting of the David in pure silver, which will weigh an astonishing 70,000 ounces upon completion as a one-of-a-kind Michelangelo in pure silver of the David. It's extraordinary. A piece right here, this is the... Belvedere torso and 7,000 ounces of pure silver, one of a kind, revered by Michelangelo and Raphael as a prodigy of fine artwork. It's an extraordinary piece. And one piece I was excited to share with you, this right here, I had the opportunity last year with my partner, Michael Shepard, and Steve Forbes, the owner of Forbes Publishing, unveiled this live in Las Vegas as the single largest pure silver sculpture ever created at 20,021 ounces. It's one of one in the world, and it's Michelangelo's Pieta. What's so exciting about this in our moment in time in the history of our company is we're now going to provide an alternative asset class. Right now, this country and our world's in a rolling recession. It's a secular bear market, year two of a secular bear market of what we predict to be about 14 years. So if people have money, the, the, the buy, hope, and hold program is, gonna, is dying. You don't wanna do that. We're excited about this opportunity because the artwork that we have in the museum is going up annually in appreciation on average of 33% annually. Treasure Investments has a small position open with our stock offering. 
I often say, why buy gold when you can own the mine? Treasure Investments is the mine. We have a small position open, of a few shares left available so you can own a part of our company. And subsequent to that, we're gonna have in 2024, next quarter, we're gonna offer a few products starting in at $50 million per product package up to $250 million. What's so exciting about this is we've combined blue chip artwork with precious metals. And not only do you buy the asset, which is a com combination of multiple pieces, but as a, as a service to the buyer, whomever that might be, we will curate that collection for you and monetize it through the democratization of fine artwork through fractional ownership, which is an alternative platform that we have that we've initiated already. So it's very exciting. A few companies have proven the model works where by you have a singular asset and they don't sell it to a one-time buyer, they sell it fractionally to several thousand or several hundred people. That works and it works incredibly well, not just with artwork, but with other assets as well. So Treasure Investments Corporation is doing just that, not only monetizing our pieces singularly through the masses, through the democratization of that artwork fractionally, but by providing singular packages as product to the marketplaces, to family funds, to hedge funds and the like. There will only be a few, there's gonna be great scarcity because we only have so many of these we can do. We have the exclusive rights from the foundry, from the Vatican collections to do one of a kinds of these images. So there's, it's a limited amount of pieces, but we believe them to be some of the most extraordinary and priceless artwork in the history of mankind. So we're honored to share this with you. We're very excited. It's gonna be an incredible 2024. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. Hope to see you soon. See me. If you don't, Hi, I'm Mark you can Lewis. come in here now at 25,000 and be part of history in the making. One of the coolest things, not only since we met you here, and this is our first show, although the shares are documented with a subscription agreement at $5 a share, even though I was at Wall Street um, February of this year, and uh, Paulson Investment Bank and several others that we met with, like the Money Channel, uh, said that they wanted to take us out as an IPO at about $10 a share. Uh, obviously, we know now IPOs, the timing right now is not the best. But for you, at this show, the timing may just be the best, in that you'll be able to buy into our family of shareholders at $2.50. But that isn't the coolest thing. If you invest, for example, $50,000, you'll be able to secure your investment immediately. How? You'll be able to choose $50,000 in fine art that you've just seen. I don't know that it gets better than that. I've never seen that business model anywhere. And my wife of 59 years now and I have invested and invested and reinvested again to accumulate as many shares as we can. None of us know if, if we have tomorrow, but at 78, we don't know how many tomorrows. So I need a quick return on investment. And until the Vatican collection was gifted to us with a, an answer to an unasked prayer. Matter of fact, what happened, uh, I guess it was November of 2021, Mark uh, asked me if I would represent the company and go to Florence, Italy, and uh, see if we could negotiate a, the first international partnership. And I said no. Why? It was COVID, and who wants to travel during COVID? But Mark was not vaccinated, and I was. And so I decided to take one for the team. Barring a phrase from uh, Charles Dickens, it was the worst trip of my entire life. And yet, as you now know, it was the best trip of my entire life. Can you imagine 
that you could and I could become part of history in the making. Of all of the assets, well over a billion dollars that Treasure Investment Corporation has, what would be the value of 72 posthumous originals, precious metals, by the greatest artist in history? We don't know. But what we do know, that the three pieces that we have created so far in pure silver, and we have the rights to do them in gold as well as platinum, have already been appraised. The silver pieta, as you saw, has been appraised because it is the only, the last, the first, the only silver pieta that will ever be created is appraised at $172 million. When that sells, 290 investors and hopefully 100 more today and over the next several months will become part of that when those dividends are issued. And then in addition, you will see when we unveil it, Michelangelo's Battle of the Centaurs. How cool that you could become part of history. To bring it down to an everyday level, street, if you will. A few weeks ago, I was sitting in the parking lot of Costco in a pickup truck with one of my dear friends, Captain Russ Griffin. And he's an investor and an investor and an investor. And he said, Michael, what if I have in my IRA with my trustee 31 100 ounce bars of silver? Could you take that and would you put that in to the creation of Michelangelo's David? Sure. So I asked Mark Russo where he was and when we would start the pouring. And last week, I, I'm from Nashville, I flew into Portland, crossed the river to Battleground, Washington, where our headquarters is, and then we visited the foundry and Mark scheduled the first pouring. And we took Russ's 31 bars and melted them and poured one of a hundred panels of David. And now Russ Griffin's silver is in the head of David. I mean, that's goosebumpy. How many of you know Helen Keller? Show of hands. Helen Keller became world-renowned when there was an Oscar-winning movie, The Miracle Worker. And she was born deaf, could not speak, and blind. And through a miracle, she was taught how to speak. And during the latter part of her years, she was interviewed by a young BBC inter interviewer, reporter, and he said very brashly, Miss Keller, I can't imagine anything worse than being blind. And she interrupted him and said, young man, there are things worse than being blind. And that is having sight without a vision. So today, I want to share with you our vision so that you can get a piece of this history in the making. Charlie. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. So what we're going to do is the first public reveal of this piece. Some of you might have gotten a sneak peek when there's a private showing over there. If you haven't yet, 
That's what we're doing right now. So we're going to need your help, though. We have it here. We've had it staged. We're going to do a countdown because no one, this hasn't actually been revealed to the public yet, right? That's correct. So why don't we do this? We'll do a countdown. I know we did the presentation. You know a little bit about the art, the history. Now you can be a part of that same history. So why don't we do this? We'll do a countdown from five. We'll go five, four, and then we'll do the big reveal for you, okay? So let's see what this looks like, but let's go in five, four, three, two, one, and... Really nice. And the great part, too, is this is actually going to be over there. So during the event today, tomorrow, if you want to talk to them, if you want to visit Mount Battleground, if you want to come check it out, they have a whole space over there where you can learn more and talk about it. I know we have to move on, but it is beautiful and amazing. And thank you for actually bringing it to us. Let me close in saying that this is the only piece that Michelangelo ever created that is in his home, and he wanted to keep it personally. And if you have the opportunity to go to Florence, Italy, call me and I will set up with Ferdinando Marinelli a special tour and he will host you not only through Old Town Florence, but also that you can see the original marble, Michelangelo's Battle of the Centaurs. It is amazing. And lastly, Charlie, if I could speak a blessing over this group, it would be my honor to do so. I know the thoughts that I have toward you, declares the Lord, and there are plans to prosper you and to keep you from harm and to give you a hope and a future. Thank you. Thank you, Michael.